So it's been news for a little bit that the OKX CEO has left on good terms, but where is he now? He left for Huayobi, another competitor's exchange. My name is Mike Kubera. Let's kill it today. Oh, ooh. We are in Vilanov today. This is a little bit south of Warsaw, still technically a part of it, but this is definitely where I want to purchase some real estate in the future. There's a lot of developments. I mean, you see one sign that they're selling, another sign above there. There's another sign somewhere over there, but anyways, if you're not investing into crypto, you got to diversify a little bit, and if you are, diversify as well. So let's get into it this guy was running a change and then he leaves for another exchange what is the primary motivation it's money 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 and maybe he didn't like okx now i'm not completely biased whatsoever hint yes i am i hate okx remember that one time i made a video about okx how it was like one of the worst exchanges out there yeah so the reason I have bad blood with OKX is because of I had withdrawal issues. I mean, sure, I made some profit with Ethereum, but then I wanted to withdraw. It was a small amount. However, it took forever. And it's very, very difficult with a foreign exchange to get all the verification documents and all that gone through. There's a lot of other people who had problems with OKX. So maybe that's why the CEO is like, you know what? Screw this company. Screw the people that are working here. I'm just going to go to Huayobi, whatever. I just got my braces tightened again. This guy left and when you're a CEO of a top level exchange I mean it's more like a tier 2 exchange instead of like a Bitfinex, Binance, Bitrex type of deal but still he's making millions of dollars right? Huayobi I don't really have much experience with it but no matter which exchange you go to there's always going to be problems because there's a lot of people who are getting frustrated oh no I want my Bitcoin I want something now they're getting impatient about it whatever you're going to get that with any company you go to okay so some interesting things to consider Mr. Lee Shufai also known as Chris Lee is most likely getting paid a lot more to be with Huayobi because at the time OKX actually outstripped both Huayobi and Binance in terms of trading volume now there's different things to look at of course but a lot of people are looking at how much Bitcoin, Ethereum, all of that was flowing through within a 24-hour period. At the time, it was $1.7 billion. That is humongous. In an email sent to the company's employees, Huayobi CEO Leon Lee said that Lee, the second Lee, <laughs> uh, his OKX resignation and move to Huayobi were agreed at the same time. Oh, cha-ching, cha-ching! Look who's scoring in some dough. Since Huayobi is a little bit less than OKX. He's not going to be the CEO, but he is going to be the vice president and he's going to be on the board. He is going to be the vice president of international business development and he's going to be on the board as a secretary. Now, some people are stating that OKX's surge to the top of the leaderboard could have been actually messing with the numbers. There was a little scandal with OKCoin and a couple other things. Now, as we know, in business, it does get messy sometimes. But the CEO has information. It's good to share with another exchange. We're going to see how long Huayobi's going to keep him on. He's getting paid a lot of money. And if you are interested in becoming a CEO of a company, it's great to go to business school, get some business management degrees, move your way on up, connect with people in there. Whether you're in America, you might go into a fraternity, meet your brethren there. If you're in Europe, Asia, wherever else, you're going to join some clubs. Maybe you might start a business beforehand. However, the number one best way to become a CEO is to create your own company. And nowadays in cryptocurrencies, it is more than ever an amazing opportunity to start your own exchange or start some company that solves a very significant problem. If you have a solution to the problem, there is your million dollar chance and investors might just hop onto it. My name is Michael Cabrera. Get motivated, start hustling. Let's chat later. Oh, my God.